Example two on page two is using the power row. So let me go copy the power row. It looks complicated, but all we really do is we increase the exponent by one. We make it one bigger and we divide by the new exponent. That's what we are doing. So for problem number one or the first example, what we need to do is we make the new exponent to be one bigger than what it used to be. So x to the eighth power and you divide the whole term by eight and put plus c. And that's it for this one. Okay, you can write this as 1 over 8 x to the 8th power plus c. And feel free to check your answer by taking the derivative of this. You will get x to the 7th power. But let's look at another one. Well, b isn't exactly written with an exponent, so I'm going to rewrite b. Okay, so for this one, I will rewrite this as x to the one half power, and let's find the antiderivative of that. Increase the exponent by one. So you have to do half plus one. Half plus one is three half. Okay, and you need to divide this by three half. Divide by whatever that new exponent is and put that plus c. But listen, dividing something by a fraction yeah, dividing by a fraction is same as multiplying by its reciprocal. So instead of dividing it by 3 over 2, I'm just going to say I'm going to multiply by 2 over 3 so that I can write it a little bit nicer. And that is it for the second example. Let's look at the third one. So first of all, I need to rewrite it so that it has an exponent. Um, well, so that I can use the power rule. Uh, instead of writing it as 1 over x to the third, how about we write it as x to the negative third power, okay? And let's apply that rule. Increase the exponent by 1. So what is 1 bigger than negative 3? Negative 2. And you must divide the whole thing by negative 2, the new exponent. And we are done. Just put that plus c. And you can try to write this a little bit. Um, I guess we can simplify this. How about we try that, okay? So I can say this is the same thing as negative 1 over 2x squared plus c. And all I did was I just put this x to the negative second power in the bottom of the fraction because it had a negative exponent. But everything else, you know, is just the same, okay? So that is it for the three short examples using the power rope.